Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today I'm going to show you how to build a keyboard shortcut to move windows between screens on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So if you're using more than one screen on your Mac you can move a window between screens pretty easily with a menu command. So for instance here I've got a MacBook Pro and I've connected to it a 4K screen. This is a typical arrangement that a lot of people have. A MacBook with an external display. So you've got two screens which is great. But say you want to move a window like this Finder window to the other screen. You could do that using the Window menu. If you go in there you'll see a Move command and it's got the name of the other display. If you have even more displays you'll see the names of each display there. So I can just use this menu item and you can see it quickly moves that window to the other display. Then I could go to that display and with that same window selected I could go to Window and then move back to the built in display. Now what would be nice is to have keyboard shortcuts that will do this. You could set that up pretty easily because anything that appears in a menu like here in the Window menu you could assign a keyboard shortcut to if there isn't already one there. So in this case the menu item is Move to LG Ultra HD. LG Ultra HD is the name of my display. Yours would be different. The name comes from the hardware itself. So you've got to check there in your Window menu to see exactly what this is. So now let's set this up as a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to go into System Preferences and then to Keyboard and then Shortcuts. Then I'm going to click on App Shortcuts and I'm going to add a new one by clicking the Plus button. I'm going to set it to All Applications so it's always going to be looking for this menu item in any app that I'm using. Then I have to type the menu title and I need to type this exactly. Every character has to be the same as the menu item. So in this case it would be Move to LG Ultra HD. Just like that. It's exactly the same as the Window command. I can even see it right here in System Preferences as well. Now let's do a keyboard shortcut. What I think makes sense here is to use the right arrow key since this window is always to the right of my main screen. So I'm going to use Command and then Option and then the right arrow and Add. And then I can close System Preferences here and now if I look under Window I'll see that anywhere I see Move to LG Ultra HD I see this shortcut. So with this Finder window selected I can use this keyboard shortcut and it moves to the other display. But now what if I want to move it back? Well if I go over to here and I look under Window you can see it says Move to Built in Retina Display. So I've got to check that and make sure I know exactly what the menu command is. And now I can create a keyboard shortcut for this. So I'll go back into System Preferences, back to Keyboard, Shortcuts and then App Shortcuts. I'll add a new one and I'll type that exactly as I saw it. And now I'm going to sign the keyboard shortcut Command and then Option and then Left Arrow to do that. So just double check when you're done to make sure that the menu title is exactly what you see in the menu. Yours might be different than mine. And then I'm going to Add. And now I can quit System Preferences. And if I'm now over in this display with this window selected if I look under Window there's Move to Built in Retina Display with that keyboard shortcut. So now I can use Command Option Left Arrow to move it back to my main display and Command Option Right Arrow to move it to the secondary display. And this will work with any standard Mac OS window. So here I am with Notes and I could see Window has the same menu command there. So if I use it here the Notes window will move to the secondary display and then I could move it back. Here I am in Pages and I see the same thing here under Window. So it's really consistent and I can move the Pages window back and forth between the displays. So you can see how this definitely can be useful especially if you send a keyboard shortcut so you do it pretty quickly. You can get windows out of the way off to your secondary display or move them around back and forth as needed. And you can combine this with Command Tab like for instance here I could Command Tab to Pages and then use Command Option Right Arrow to quickly move Pages over. And if you have a third display you could easily add that as a keyboard command too. For instance you could use Command Option and Up Arrow or Down Arrow for your center display and then the left and right arrows will match the left and right displays. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. 
If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.